Get in there. They're hanging you in a few days. Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. His disgusting voice echoed through my head. I could picture his rotting teeth standing weak and rusty, propelling the stink of a sentence from his mouth. So what you in for, Mac? Oh, I'm not a big talker, eh? Well, I'm here on account of my wife lying to the authorities about me hitting her. I tried not talking to him, but he wouldn't shut up. I would do anything to stop his god-awful voice. So anyway, the name's Black. What's your name, cowboy? It's Jamie. Oh, quite of a temper, huh? What you do? Kill someone? Yeah. That's exactly what I did. Yee! So I'm guessing they're gonna hang you too. I guess so. So, why'd you do it? It's not a question of why, but who. Remorse began to erupt in my body. My task is complete, yet I feel no sense of satisfaction. What I did was an act of God. I took away what is most precious to mankind, life. The human ticks suck the blood from hemorrhoid earth. Booze, prostitutes, cheeky men fill this vein like tiny clots. Who am I to talk? I am nothing better but the same as the very people who spend years chewing poison only to develop lung cancer or the sluts we like to pay to play for companionship. Just the sounds people produce make me sick to my stomach. Public hell holes or corroded arteries filled beyond abundance. What really pisses me off is the goddamn kingpins, mobsters, bosses of the West who swagger around in their fur coats playing poker with the guys. They sit in their putrid penthouses counting money like it was the tainted heart of society and nothing made sense without it. That brings me to this cubicle and to answer my very own questions starting with Sal. Who's the who, not the why in this story? The man whose very vulgar being pollutes the land with greed and corruption. He was an infection that needed correcting. I ripped him away from this world like a band-aid. So, you scared? No. Well, I'm not ready to die. I still got some tricks up these old sleeves here. Besides, the justice system ain't about to hang an innocent man. You don't want to hang, do you? It's a pity too, because I could get you out if you really wanted. I don't need help. I can take the punishment for my own behavior. Feelings of disgruntlement tripped in my head. What I had committed was not a crime but a deed. But still I find no enlightenment. What am I thinking? I'm not ready to rot on the ground. Not until I taste sweet salvation. You know what? I'll take your offer. Well, that's good to hear, because I've been sneaking out letters to Sam the man. He's got a mighty fine shot. He bails me out of everything. Don't worry. We'll be out here in no time. I didn't say a word to the man I killed. I had nothing to say to him. I could only stare into his lifeless marble eyes, changing none at all between the time I had arrived and the time I had finished. See you, Black. Any last words, boys? I believe in thee, true and living God. I believe in thee, eternal truth. Don't worry, Jamie. 
I die trusting in thy boundless merit. Jesus, I believe in thee. Jesus, I hope in thee. Jesus, love thee above everything. Two, one, two, three, four.